Greetings from the Diocese of Joliet. My name is Father Stephen Barella. I'm the Director of Vocations for the Diocese. I'm glad you could join us today. I'd like us to actually begin just with a short prayer, just entrusting this time to Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good and gracious Mother, we come to you today as your children, in need of your maternal care and protection, in need of your security. We ask that you would just spread your mantle around each one of us and draw us ever closer to your heart. Keep us safe in your love. We entrust this time to your hands as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I just got off the phone uh, with a close friend of mine, and she was sharing with me just her deep fear and her deep anxiety uh, for her parents. In this time, her mom has CPOD, and and she's the only door that they have really to the outside world. She goes, and does their shopping, she gets their medicines. Her brother, a physician, said that if mom gets sick, it'll be the last we're gonna see of her. And, and I could just hear in her voice, uh, I could hear her fear, I could hear her anxiety, her powerlessness. And while we were talking on the phone, I said, you know, I think it's really important if we took this moment to pray. And that's what we did. And, and I'd just like to share with you how we prayed because I think all of us, myself included, have been feeling this profound anxiety, this profound uh, just uncertainty and confusion. And I've learned as a priest that these are not of God. These are very much of the world and of the enemy. And so we need to turn to the Lord and invite him into these places, to invite him into where we find ourselves. And so what I'm gonna ask you to do is to join me, and this is gonna take about four or five minutes. And so I ask you to be patient and, and just walk with me in this time. And here's what we're going to do. We're simply going to close our eyes, or we'll sit upright and close our eyes. And we're just going to begin by breathing remembering that every breath we inhale and exhale is a gift of God. It's that life-giving breath that he gave us when he created us. And as we're breathing, I'm gonna ask you what you're noticing. If it's fear, we call it, we name fear. If it's anxiety, it's anxiety. If it's particular to a particular thing, a particular thought, a particular worry, a concern, then we would just simply acknowledge that. And we don't wanna focus on it. We wanna focus on our breathing and noticing. And as we continue to breathe and to notice, I'm going to invite you to share those thoughts, those words, those, those feelings with Jesus or with Mary. And then we'll continue just to breathe and give Jesus permission to speak into those places. And we might notice something profound, we might not. But we trust that the Lord has heard us because we've invited him we've invited him into what we're experiencing. And then we'll conclude with a simple prayer. And it might be the very beginning of a longer prayer that you'll have with our Lord this day. So if you just please join me in closing your eyes and, and sitting upright. And let us just breathe. And I invite you to focus on your breathing the inhaling through your nose and the exhaling. And as you're breathing, just notice how your body's responding. Notice the thoughts that kind of pass by Notice if there's any feelings.
Maybe you're noticing there's a, a tightness in your jaw, maybe tension in your shoulders and your back. Maybe there's a lump in your throat that might be grief. Maybe there's anger at the church or anger at our bishop or at your bishop. Maybe there's sadness at the limited ability to receive the sacraments. Maybe there's a pain or a sense of injustice. All of these are good to acknowledge. And just as you acknowledge them and just allow them to be present, we continue just to breathe. Again, remembering that every breath we take is a gift of God. That we're not alone in this moment, in this time, in this space. And as you continue to breathe, I, I invite you to just say, Jesus, I'm experiencing this fear around my parents. And I just ask you to be with me and to be with them. Jesus, I'm really upset that I can't receive the Eucharist. Jesus, I have so much tension in my back, in my head. I don't know what I'm going to do. Please be in that tension. Be in that fear. Please, Jesus, just be with me right here, right now. You're all I have. As we ask the Lord to be with us right here and right now in these different experiences, these different thoughts, these different um, desires, these different emotions, we continue to breathe. With every breath, we just simply invite the Lord in, and with every exhale, we just simply surrender to Jesus as best we're able the things that have come up in our hearts. And maybe you're like me, you just kind of have a sense that there's just tears in your eyes and you don't know what else is really going on, but there's just a sense of there's something moving in me. The Lord has heard me. He knows what I'm going through and I'm not alone. Maybe all of a sudden you, you have a sense like there's a sense of calm that's coming over you and you can breathe again. Maybe you're still feeling a little tense or a little anxious, and, and that's okay. I just invite you to take time throughout the day, each day, just to breathe and to notice and to invite the Lord in. And then just to be present to Him as, as He responds to us, as we receive what it is he, he offers us. And sometimes it could be a word or a memory. Uh, for my friend who I was mentioning earlier when we prayed, it was simply the reassurance that she is not alone, that she doesn't carry this burden for her parents on her own. For me, it's a sense of the Lord understands how much I miss my flock. He, and he's asking me to intercede in a particular way for them. And just his love for me and, and my love for my flock, for you. And at the end, I, I simply say, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for meeting me in this place. Jesus, I can't do it alone. And I'm sorry for trying. Help me, Jesus, to go forward. Help me, Jesus, to bring you to my wife, to my husband, to my children. Help me, Jesus, to bring peace. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God descend upon each of you. May he fill your hearts with peace this day. And may you know deeply of the Father's intimate love for you. 
his spiritual protection. And may every grace and blessing be given you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until next time, God bless.